I look back on my military career, you know, we get up every morning to do PT, you know, we run a couple miles. Those days seem so long gone now. You know, you look back and think, man, how'd I do that? Well, I was raised by a single mother. Uh, there was three of us. It, it was hard back then. You know, she'd work two or three jobs, but we always took care of mom because she worked so hard. So all of us tried to go to work early, you know, help her out around the house, things like that. I was very responsible. I was working since I was 13, but you know, I got caught doing a lot of things that maybe other people wouldn't get caught at. Just running with, with people that, that I wanted to run with, I was having a lot of fun but getting into a lot of trouble. So the judge and I thought it'd be a good idea maybe to, to look at the military, and I'm so glad I did that. That was the best thing that ever happened to me, is, is joining the military right out of high school. Uh, straightened me up. You know, I, I retired from the military and came home and started looking up my friends, uh, some of the ones that I was running with that you know, created issues. Uh, they're gone, they passed away. That shocked me, you know, so I often wonder where I would be if I didn't, you know, go into the military at 18. I have two teenage boys uh, that I like to do things with. Uh, they're good boys, too. They, they do well in school. So I like to spend time with them. They don't live with me. They live across the river. They play these video games, and I never have been able to do that. And they don't even like me to pick up the controllers anymore. They're like, come on, Dad, give it back. I can't, I can't make things move, you know what I'm saying? But when I get the opportunity to see them or have them come over, I like to spend time with them. Uh, I've been a volunteer almost seven years. Being retired from the military, uh, needing to uh, stay a little bit busier than what I was, uh, wanting to help people, and uh, I had heard about volunteering, and it's worked out really great. Uh, you'll have your bad days, but every day you're always thanked for what you're doing. The people that run the hospital are very grateful for what you're doing. They let you know that throughout the year. Chris Carley, if I can say his name, you know, COO of the hospital, outstanding individual. You'll see him calling people by name when he steps out of his office and, and walks around the hospital. That's a biggie. When you know everybody's name and can communicate with them, it means a lot means a lot to me. You know, people that come through these doors have a lot of emotions. They got a lot going on. They want to get answers. They want to get them quickly and accurately. So you help the people that come through the doors. Uh, you get people going where they need to be going. Uh, you don't want to send somebody somewhere they're not supposed to be. That upsets them as it would anybody. The title of this desk up here is the information desk. So people come there for information. And uh, you got to be ready to give it to them. We keep a log of how many people we help in a day's time, and it can, it can be a couple hundred. Uh, so you stay busy, and as you know, in the people business, you meet all kinds of people. Uh, but the, the ones that you do help that are grateful for it, you get a real good feeling about that. You go home feeling good about what you've done.